In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use Image Playground on your iPhone. The first thing we need to do is to open the Image Playground application and then you'll be taken to this information card. Here it's going to give you more information on how to set up the Image Playground so you can start creating images based off the information on your iPhone. So you simply need to select Setup and then it's going to take you to the Information Playground application where you want to go ahead and exit out of the application. Now all we need to do is to connect our iPhone to a Wi-Fi network and you also want to plug it into a power source. Once you've done this, the image playground is going to start setting up in the background and you can start using your iPhone just as you normally would in the meantime. Once the image playground is ready to use, you simply want to open the application and it's going to look like this. Now there are two main ways of using the application. The first way is by describing the image you want it to generate or you can go ahead and add variables. So to do this, you first want to add a person to use as a starting point for your image and this example I'm going to select myself. Once we've done this, you want to go ahead and add any of the variables that are listed. So I'm going to add Starry Night and then I'm going to add Astronaut. Now if I leave this for a few seconds, it's going to begin to generate a couple of images, as you can see. Now it usually generates three images, but sometimes it can generate more. Now you can also add a custom variable by selecting the text box and typing in the variable you want to use. However, for this example, I'm going to leave it as it is. So all you need to do now is to select an image that you're happy with. And once you are ready, you want to select done in the top right hand corner. And now that image is ready to use on your iPhone. You can save the image to your photos by selecting the share option in the bottom left hand corner. And then you want to select save image. And this is going to save it to your photos library. If you want to make any adjustments to the image, you simply want to select edit in the bottom right hand corner and then you want to tap on the image and then you can add as many variables as you'd like. If you swipe down, you can see a list of all of the images that you have generated using the image playground. And if you want to add a new one, just click the plus button and you can start from the beginning. And that's how you set up and use image playground on your iPhone. So if this video was helpful, please leave a like and if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.